Andrea. <coughs> Hi, you guys. Well, this all started with a simple conversation between a councilwoman and a major at District 3 about some of their staff shortages. And now they're going to have 20 new eight cameras across South Louisville. We've seen it work. We know that it works. I've personally seen it work. Rick Blackwell, who represents Metro Council District 12, is talking about flock cameras. The cameras read license plates, which can help police solve crime in the community. Just an, another tool. Um, to try to make South Louisville safer. On Thursday, the Metro Council voted unanimously to approve $177,000 in funding to install 28 new flock cameras. 14 will go up in District 12. Another 14 will be installed in District 14, which includes neighborhoods in Valley Station and PRP. Blackwell and Cindy Fowler, who represents District 14, hope the cameras help police capture street racers. It's things that are happening more and more, like the burnouts and um, the four-wheeler issue. What we're trying to do is um, be strategic in where we place them so that it becomes nearly impossible for someone to be in and around District 12 and District 14 and not get picked up on one of the the drone cameras. They believe the cameras will also help as LMPD deals with staffing shortages. They need more tools and that was one of the things that they said was, um, you know, would be helpful. I keep saying to people we don't have enough police officers, but it's up to us to say, okay, well, if that's going to be the case, then what are we going to be able to do to stretch them? Blackwell says these fundings were already allocated through federal funding. Now with these cameras being installed, they believe that it'll provide an extra layer of security for community members and help for officers. People are, they just see that there's not enough officers and they, they want more public safety. And you guys, both city council members say they know exactly where they want these cameras to be installed, but the timeline of when they'll be put up is still up in the air. At City Hall tonight, DeAndrea Turner, WLKY News.